Well, good day everyone and welcome to Diamond Art Waddell. Today I have uh, a little craft, another little diamond painting craft kit I got quite some time ago. And I was looking through my drawers for um, just a, some little project. I wanted just something different to what I've been working on. You know, sometimes you just need that little breather break. This is one of them. And there's lots of cool little things hiding around my drawers. And yeah, this one I had, I don't know what I planned to do with it, but I bought quite some time ago. Must have thought it was cool or whatever. I'm not really sure what my intent was at the time. But I got this one, I believe, from a shop, Any Deals. And I think I unboxed it on the channel many moons ago. And I will try to find that video and link it up there for you guys if you'd like to see the unboxing for that. I'm guessing it exists. Let's see how we go. Um, so yeah, anyway. I thought it's really kind of cute and I thought you know what this would be a great one to do as a little whip and review chat type video that I've been making lately for a couple of reasons one it's a nice easy small project to work on I just thought with Mother's Day and things like that coming around the corner I mean you guys probably won't have time to um, order something like this at this when I post it but in future maybe a birthday other events do come up in our lives but um, yeah, it sort of just sparked my interest to do something like this. So you may already have something sitting in your stash like this, or you might want to do this to an existing piece. So um, you could buy, and I'll show you what it is actually. So it come, came in this little case. And what it is actually is, it's all beaded design at the front there. And what it is, it's actually a mirror. You can probably see my camera when I do that, or iPad. Um, so it's a little compact mirror. I was just thinking just now literally while I am filming This is like on the fly stuff all the time with me. I don't have a plan people. I just go with what I'm feeling and speak you know What I'm feeling at that time. I try to be very on the, on the moment Basically, I was just thinking just then you could purchase something like this from your local you know uh, Amcal or K Hub or junk shop probably would have some little things like this, and you could just put some adhesive on and do a design very easily and quickly with leftover drills as well. So that's basically what I was getting at. Gee, that took me a long time to get to that basic idea, didn't it? Sorry about that. <laughs> my, my mind thought it was rather quick, but when I had to try and explain it all out there, I was like, hmm, how do I explain what's going on in my head to people? Anyway, so you could do this idea yourself just with what it, you left over drills. So keep that in mind when doing this. Um, and you can use, uh, what is it? I'll try and remember what it's called. It's really, it's, was, it's supposed to be really good for a, doing adhesive sort of stuff like this. Oh, if I remember what it is, I'll just add a little image here. Um, I've ordered some on Amazon. So hopefully I can get that soon and have a play with it. So yeah, anyway, moving right along. I have so many ideas though, honestly, about leftover drills. Oh my goodness, it hurts my brain. So this guy, I'll show you this guy because this is what we're doing today. Get on the program, Dal. As I said, I am sorry, I get a little bit distracted by all my ideas that run around my head. Seriously, it's, it's chaotic in there. No one knows what's going on. Um, Yes, as you can see, really nice drill field, no problems there. It's only small, it's a cute little butterfly. That's all we're drilling up with on this one today, guys. And there's nothing on the back. But you know what, this stuff feels great. It's really got a lovely texture of whatever that is covered in. I think it's like, it feels like um, synthetic leather or something. You know what I mean, like that sort of texture. And there you go, look at that, you see my camera. Um, so yeah, so that's that. It came in this really cute case, which I kind of liked. And I thought, you know, you could get all this junk off it and clean it up. You could actually decorate this case and it could be quite cool. Or it could be really handy um, little traveler case. You know, you put, maybe not that one because it's got a big doodad on it. But maybe you can put some things in it, you know. I don't know. That's a fairly decent sized tray actually. So it's kind of cool little case. Or you can, once you finish, put it back in the box you know finish it up and wrap it as a gift multiple things you can do with the box as well 
So anyway, taking it out of the box, putting it down, stop fidgeting with it. All right, so this one has one, two, eight, so eight colors. So I'll have a quick look. I think I'm starting with eight. So this is number eight. And this is all the beautiful gems. You've got like teardrops, etc. with ABs. Some of those little whiny color ones. And, oops, where did my camera go? That green. Some soft blues, some orange, some pink, and some of that nice yellow. So quite a variety of colors in this kit. Not a lot of drills in there, but we don't need them to be ex extreme amount because we don't have a very big area there to work on. Now, am I focusing? It looks like, no, there we go. I lost my focus. I do apologize for that. It does its own thing. It really has its own mind, that camera thing. All right, so basically what I'm going to do, I'm not going to even bother kitting up because it's way too small. And, you know, I just don't see, see you wasting time on doing stuff you don't need to do. I do like to on bigger kits, don't get me wrong. I can't do this baggy thing when it's a big kit. But these smaller ones I'm managing. I'm getting used to it. Wow, that's pretty cool. I don't know if that's coming across as nicely as I can see it, but my goodness, that's the sparkly jewels. They are beautiful yellow. Okay, so this is number one. Okay, so we're just going to go off with you cover. I only got a nice small area, and I'll bring it up so it can lose its focus again. And we're working on number one, which is basically the edge of the butterfly. All right, so that's what we're going to work on first. It's going to be nice and easy, simple. Um, I might just pop a little bit more wax in there because I didn't put my pen away last time I was using it and it's probably gone dry. All right, so nice sticky surface. I don't know, where shall we start? There, as good as any. I might actually bring you in closer for this part. Might be a good idea, eh? Zoom there a little bit. Is that a bit better? All right, so I'm just making sure I'm all in view of what I'm doing. I can't really see very well today. Some days it's just, even, with, I've got my glasses on. I haven't forgotten to do that either. But um, yeah, some days I feel like I really struggle with the shine of the glue or whatever it is. Bright stuff is really hard sometimes for my eyes i don't know does anyone else have that where you, it, it, that glare of things makes it really hard for you to focus i'm probably just getting old i don't know i just notice that sometimes more uh, when you go outside and that and you just sort of got to put your hand up like a brim of a hat just to be able to focus on what's going on because it, it literally hurts your eyes so, I don't know. I think that's my eyes. I think they're broken. I probably need to get, even though these are not old, I probably need to get a different sort of pair of glasses for outside. Oops, a daisy. I put one upside down. Oh my gosh. How the heck do I do that? I'll tell you what, I'm amazing what I can do. Oh, the stupid end of scale, I can tell you. Wow, that's I don't know what I was thinking when I looked at this design, but I wasn't expecting it to have like big yellow wings anyway. Let's put it that way. I don't know why I wouldn't. I mean, you can see the yellow in the background colours there. Has a really nice texture too for when I'm placing the drills. I must say that. It's got like, it's got a good grip, a good stick. Like I don't feel like they're going to slide around, etc., etc. Oh, because I tell you what, sliding drills are awful. I really get frustrated sometimes when I get those oily areas and they won't stick and stay still. And it's not bad if you got one or two, but when you get really big areas, it's just sort of not. Don't like it much. 
you can deal with it and fix it, but you know, it's just you just don't want to have to do that. You just want to go and diamond paint. I enjoy diamond painting. I want to do diamond painting. I don't want to have to fix the canvas. But yes, um, if you do find yourself in an area of like that, you can usually use some of them wet wipes and wipe the area a little bit, especially if you got it or you got a bit of stuff on there that's making it not adhere, like say some cat fur or some dust or whatever you think might be on there and it's not sticking those little those wet wipes that you get you just sort of wipe the a, a bit of the top of the layer just a little bit and then just let it dry and it should bring back its tack if you do lose your stickiness on your um, canvas or together if you get a very you can either get a very thin um, double sided tape and put that over the area and patch it that way and continue drilling happily and you should be fine they should stay on there quite well as long as you as they make sure the area is clean etc etc and then you can just use a very thin because you don't want a thick layer because then it's, they will sit at, drills will sit up raised etc you know what I mean like they will be raised and won't, won't look good on the canvas but if you get like a super thin one from your craft store or I don't know uh, there's probably other places that sell that sort of thing keep your eye out always in your local I call them junk stores you know your everything store your bits and pieces your cheap store because a lot of those items can get in there and you don't even know they're there until you start doing a good scrounge around and um, you never know what you might find like that to help you with your diamond painting so always keep an eye out no stores as well for things like that but yeah um, you can use just that a little bit of thin very thin double sided tape and that will patch up a non sticky area or as I said you can just add um, some glues down for a make a sticky area that um, it eludes me the name but I remember the word tack in it and it's a white bottle and it's got green writing on it but anyway as I said I would have put an image at the start of the video that one is what I'm referring to I should get I could just go and check what it's called because it's in my cart at the moment I am going to order a tub of that and check it out but I've been told that is the stuff at the good go-to um, I've just used my glossy essence and other things before to help get a bit of sticky area going when I've had a bit of a bad spot and that has worked and it's holding up so far to this day so let's see if it can continue to do so it's not I don't know if it's designed to do that sort of stuff really but I, it's what I had so I used it because I had drills and stuff sliding around driving me nuts oh, look I forgot this wing Duh. I have a moment there don't I wow look at that yellow isn't it pretty that's beautiful I didn't realize how yellow this butterfly was going to be hmm, there you go I can't remember I probably picked it up because it was different there we go guys as I said it's sort of a review as, as we go so this is what's left over of the drills absolutely beautiful clean drills um, no problems with their backs etc like you know they're nice and clean where am I do, 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 do. I don't know if you can see that but anyway yeah the backs are clean they are nice looking drills I've done all my ones so yeah there you go too easy oh you know what I should have done I should have brought some zip bags to put these in as I go don't suppose I've got any on this table I mean I've got everything else here anything in there no of course not that would make life easy wouldn't it all right I'm just going to do a quick little pause and get some baggies and I'll be right back right here I'm back and I've got me baggies I didn't even think about that when I was um I say on the fly with this guy I tell you do do in they go so there we are that's what's left of the baggies 
We'll have a little look at our leftovers at the end of the project, I think, and just keep on sort of moving forward. So the next colour, number two, will be the pink. Only a small amount in these bags, I tell you. Look at that, that's it. <laughs> what was that laugh, Del? Here you go. Oops, no, side by side comparison. Sort of. <laughs> yeah. We check this side by side. Now, where's. Oh, there they are. I was going to say, where did I put my glasses? They're on my head. Of course they are. That's where they go. Right. Um. Yep, that guy's found his gearbox. Good for you. Did you hear him? I don't know if they came through or not, but some guy was just learning how to drive, I think. Anyway, um, what are we on? Number two. So this is drill number two. Two? I can't get my two there. So I don't think I've got too much of this pink to go on. I thought there was a much more pink butterfly than this, but eh, my memory's shocking sometimes. And I said, I did buy this ages ago. God knows if it's even available still. But there's lots of similar crafts always kicking around these um, stores, so I'm sure there'll be something similar. If you have a look in um, Shop Any Deals, is where I believe I've got this one from, but you could probably try any of those kind of e-stores and they'll probably have them. And that's the two used people. Well, oh, okay, no one is just that little bit of pink there. That's all we have. Um, yeah, so, yeah, so, what am I talking about? E-stores, right. Yeah, so if you go to any of those e-stores that I often show on the channel or that, they have heaps of these sort of things. And you just go into Diamond Painting Crafts, and that's where you'll find them in that drop down there. If you would like something like this to do, basically. They're fun little projects, and, um... Yeah, I just, I don't know, I kind of like just mucking around with something different. I'm still diamond painting, I'm still enjoying my craft, it's just a little bit. It's just a different medium of uh, canvas, basically. That's about it. Yeah, that's number three. My goodness, I'm making a mess. Holy moly. Um, yeah, so anyway, this is number three. It's a beautiful orange, by the way. Look at that. I'll show you guys a bit closer if I can. Beautiful, isn't it? Mm. Is it coming up all right? A bit, I don't know, it's a bit, I don't know, average sort of lighting today. I don't know why. Maybe because it's so early. And um, this side of the house doesn't get the sun until in the afternoon. And I usually record then. But for whatever rhyme and reason, I've decided to do it now in the morning. Focusing. Hmm. Alright, number three. So while I was grabbing those baggies, I thought I'd have a quick look um, at what it is I had in my cart. I'm going to get from Amazon and give a go. And the actual glue I was talking about was, oh, it's gone now, um, was Aileen's Tack It Over. So yeah, that's what it's called. Aileen's Tack It Over. And that is supposed to be really good for adding um, like a glue surface for you to put drills on to. So you could either use that to repair a non-sticky area canvas or apply it to something like this and use your spare drills to make a pattern design. Um, of whatever you wish basically and so that is what I want to do with it I've got a few things I'd like to use my spare drills on so that is what I'm hoping to do in the near future and I'll either bring them back as finished products maybe here on the channel if you're interested or I might try and do a bit of a a bit of a workup Basically a workshop on it. Yeah, we could do workshops on them, couldn't we? 
that's an idea. So um, comment down below if you'd like to see some workshops done on leftover drills. And um, it's not going to be like tutorial. I'm not very good at doing all that sort of stuff really. But um, I can sort of explain what I did and show you the end result of where I'm up to. If that sounds cool, let me know. All right, number four is a blue. And we can work at workshop with Dell or something. I don't know. Well, I'll just keep them under reviews. Now, not a lot of that blue either. Look at that. It's such a tiny little um, kit, this, honestly. It's funny as. Um, four. Can you see what I'm doing? Because that is the point of where I am sitting and whatnot, so you can see what I am doing. So cute. I'm so pleased I um, was looking for something, not this, I was looking for something completely different. And I just sort of went, what is that sitting in the drawer? And then I had pulled it out and had a look at it and I went, oh, oh, it's a little, little I'm painting craft, it's a little mirror. And that could be fun to do. <laughs> so off I went and I went, actually, I said, it's kind of a cool little project. Maybe I'll make a video of how it goes and see how it turns out and let you guys know how they turn out. It's pretty little gems on it. All that sort of stuff. Um, blue is done. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I put them everywhere. Oh my goodness. Ah, excuse me. Times I wonder how I do most things. That's the blue. Very pretty colours in this, isn't there? Um, what's next? So that was four, I'm up to five. It's a good thing you can't see all the mess in the background, I tell you. Number five is the green. So now we're just going over the halfway mark of all the colours because we only had eight. Wow, that's really nice. That's a, wow, that's um. Oh, how would I don't know how to describe that green, but it's, I don't even think it's coming the same on the camera as it is in here in the tray. That is super duper pretty. It's a tealy color to it, like a really ocean tealy pretty green. That is lovely. Absolutely gorgeous color. I don't know if I've had um, many diamond paintings with this in it. Oh, I can't pick it up though. Get more wax, see if that helps. Never know, give it a go. <laughs> ah, success. Sometimes that's all you gotta do is just keep re-waxing your damn pen all day. Radio. This is looking good. I just can't get over how quick these colours work up. So I look at it and check and yeah, have I got them all? Yep, got that one. Yep, got that one. Okay, moving on. So is um, anyone watching the Lego Masters at the moment? I have got some really keen bods in this house for Lego Masters. It's kind of cool apparently. So yeah, it's a bit of a feature in our house. Get those Legos going. I mean, they do some amazing builds, I tell you. Number six this is. Unreal what they do with that Lego. Um, and thanks to the first season, we do own quite a lot of Lego now as well. Let me show them in shop. So I've got this um, champagne colour marquee. Why was that so hard? It's going to be the body. Yeah, I've been watching the Lego Masters on TV. It's kind of cool, I must say. 
Um, very impressive some of these builds. Imagination can be really cool on them because they can be a little bit restricted um, with what they're allowed to do with the challenges and stuff so it makes them have to think a little bit harder than just going ahead and making stuff like whatever you want or whatever you're good at. So yeah. We got our um, a few teams of favourites at the moment. Well, do like um, Team Fleur and and um, we'll, we'll call it Team Fleur. I know she's got another lady there, but and Team Scotty. <laughs> they seem to be the two everyone's barracking for at the moment. So we'll see how they both go. Um, seven. Still both in the running. So we'll see happens I think in the next night or two. Now make sure I'm doing this in the right spots. Oh my tummy's growling. I better go eat something. Okay this is going to take a little bit more thinking power. I'm going to try using nah kind of works. This end's probably a bit too big. I need the other one, the other pen with the smaller ends I think. Maybe. So yeah, normally what I do is I just use my big multiplicer end um, to pick up these special shape type big drills. You can do it with the other end, the other pointed end as I've had done in a previous video. Right, seven's done. <laughs> Righty oh. Righty oh. Down to the last of it. I keep moving my thing around. I'm sorry. Now I've bumped it. <laughs> yep, yeah, I'm very professional. Here we go. Um, <laughs> so this is the last colour. It is another teardrop, like the red, but only in a blue. And just as before, I'm just going to use my big uh, multi-placer tool end to place them in because it's just easier as far as I feel sometimes. There's quite a few in the can in the packet, so I'm just sort of trying to eyeball some of the better, nice, shinier drills out of that. And voila! Voila! Hurrah! One little butterfly done. Mm -hmm. Now all I've got to do is open the bag. Wonderful. How cool is that? Alrighty. So that's it. That's finished. That's our little project for today. I'll get you a bit closer. Hopefully you can see all these nice colours. Voila. Beautiful butterfly. Sparkly. So yes, that is a very quick little project. Um, it looks really cool. I'll get some more close-up shots of it in a moment. I'm just going to leave that just to the side there for a minute, looking really cool and stuff. And then I'm just going to, next to it, pop some of the drills down that we used and show you guys what was left by the time we finished our colours. So I'm not sure how I'm going to do this just yet, but anyway, we worked it out. Um, so there we go. Coming back out a bit. Excuse all the background mess if you ignore that. But there we go. Um, I might just move that to the side a bit more. So not in any particular order really. That's one that that's one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight. And that is what is left of the kit. Lots 
and lots of drills left over absolutely no problems with them um, I hadn't yeah there was no issues at all this is more of a purple by the way not a blue I kept calling it blue I don't know why I did that but it's actually a purple see I told you my eyes weren't good <laughs> so there we are all completed done looks really cool it's not sticky so I won't even have to spray this one you can if you wish uh, yeah so that's all the drills that are left over that's not a problem at all let's go right down here like this because I want to see what I'm doing and get a bit of lights hopefully onto it so there we go it's got a really cute pattern design behind there too behind these um, drills so it's quite pretty all around isn't it like that a really beautiful little patterns and things behind the drills and these gems just sparkle lovely I love this green down here it's a really nice mix of a lot of colors it's very rainbow it's very bright and I think it would um, say with the mirror and everything in there it's a really nice clean mirror Look, you can see my iPad we um, I, I think it looks really nice I'm really really happy with the little design it's very simple it's a great little fun project you could as I said I just did this as something to do as a bit of a break from my other ones that I'm working on something with special gems is always fun and yeah I'm very happy with the end result so that's pretty much it guys for this um, whip and review and a little chat too type video I hope you enjoy watching it I hope some of those little things I mentioned there might be helpful um, let me know in the comments down below if you a like this idea um, I put putting little gems on a little mirror and the little craft that it is or um, if you like some other ideas that I was saying about earlier in here on what I want to bring to the channel maybe a work work um, what did I call it uh, I've forgotten workshop that's it um, like a workshop type thing on doing something with my leftover drills so yeah feel free to um, comment down below and give me your thoughts on those sort of things and yeah have a great day guys I'm going to sign out I'm really happy with this this is gonna be cute I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet but I might decorate that box and might become a gift for somebody I think it'd be a really nice little a really nice little Kris Kringle or something I might put it away for that no, no I'm really looking ahead now um, <laughs> but yeah I think it's really pretty um, yeah wonderful all right guys thank you very much for watching and i hope you enjoy these little videos so smash that like button if you do and hit that notification bell so you know when i upload next and don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video guys have a great day and be your life beautiful with dime this is dale signing out stay safe everyone and be well and i'll see you all soon bye now